everyone welcome back to the channel if you're just dipping your toes into the world of linux and have recently installed linux mint 22.2 congratulations you've chosen one of the most user friendly distributions out there but here is the thing while the out of the box experience is smooth and intuitive especially for those coming from windows or mac os there is a whole layer of features and tweaks that many newcomers overlook this can supercharge your productivity enhance security and make the operating system feel even more tailored to you today we are diving deep into those hidden gems whether you are a total beginner or just new to linux mint stick around by the end of this video you will have the tools to level up your setup so let's get started first off let's talk about going beyond the basics of your desktop environment Linux Mint 22.2 uses the Cinnamon desktop by default, which is clean and familiar, but it packs some powerful customization options that are easy to miss. Start with the desklets and applets. These are like widgets and quick access tools you can add to your desktop or panels. For example, you can drag a calendar desklet onto your workspace for at a glance scheduling, or add a system monitor applet. to our panel to keep an eye on cpu usage without opening extra apps to access them right click on your desktop or panel and explore the options they are subtle but can transform how you interact with your system daily next unlock efficient workflows with keyboard shortcuts and hot corners linux mint comes preloaded with handy shortcuts like control plus alt plus up or down to switch workspaces or super plus l to lock your screen quickly but you can customize them in the system settings under keyboard shortcuts assign your own for launching apps or toggling features hot corners are another underrated trick head to system settings then hot corners and set one corner for your screen to show all open windows when you hover your mouse there It's a game changer for multitasking without cluttering your taskbar. And don't forget theming. Linux Mint makes it simple to swap icon packs or themes via the theme settings. There are free ones from sites like gnome-look.org to make your desktop feel uniquely yours. With a modern twist in 22.2's updated artwork that includes subtle blue accents for a fresher look. Now Let's peek under the hood for some system and performance tweaks that keep everything running smoothly. One essential tool for new users is Time Shift. Think of it as a built-in time machine for your operating system. It creates snapshots of your system. So if an update goes wrong or you mess up a configuration, you can roll back in minutes. Set it up right away in the menu under Administrations and Time Shift. schedule automatic backups to an external drive for a peace of mind another must know is the driver manager which is found in the same menu it scans for proprietary drivers like nvidia graphics or wifi chips that might not work perfectly out of the box install them if recommended but stick to the tested ones to avoid instability speaking of updates mint's update manager is straightforward but many skip the strategy behind it in 22.2 it even shows a reboot button when needed after kernel updates aim for level 1 to 3 updates for safety as a beginner and enable automated checks to stay secure without constant manual intervention for a snappier boot head to startup applications in system settings and disable any unnecessary programs that launch at login like bluetooth if you don't use it peak background processes via the system monitor app to free up resources killing off unused services can make your machine feel faster especially on older hardware moving on to the software and security which go behind just the software manager which is mint's app store While it's great for installing basics, understand the options, which is traditional .deb packages 
are native and lightweight. But flat packs and snaps offer sandboxed cross distro apps with easier updates. In 22.2, the software manager now includes a helpful explanation on the welcome screen to guide you on when to choose which. For example, use flat packs for apps like Spotify to avoid dependencies issues. But be cautious, stick to official sources. Security wise, don't overlook setting up a firewall. Mint includes GUFW, a simple graphical tool for UFW, which is uncomplicated firewall. Search for it in the menu, enable it, and set rules to block incoming traffics by default. It's a quick step that adds a layer of protection against unauthorized access. Also, explore software sources in the administration menu to add personal package archives, which is PPA safely for newer software versions. Always verify the PPA's trustworthiness first, like from official developers, to avoid risks. For productivity boosters, Linux Mint's native apps are often underappreciated but incredibly useful. Wapnator is a standout. It lets you share files effortlessly between devices on the same network, no cables or cloud needed. Just open it on your Linux Mint machine and another device. Now with iOS support in Linux Mint 22.2 and transfer photos or documents in seconds. Sticky Notes got a nice update too with rounded corners, VLAN compatibility and even an Android Sync app called Stinky Notes for cross-device note-taking. Gnote is another simple organizer for quick jointing down ideas with searchable notebooks. Then there is a X reader for PDFs and documents. Customize it with annotations, night mode, or dual page view for better reading. Xweaver for images now has configurable color correction, so tweak it if your display looks off. These tools are pre-installed, so experiment with their settings to fit your workflow. Finally, no Linux journey is complete without tapping into the community and resources. The official Linux Mint forums are a goldmine. Search for your issue or post a question. The community is friendly and responsive. Check out the Mint guides and documentation on the official website for step-by-step -step tutorials on everything from installation to advanced tweaks. Stay in the loop by following the Linux Mint blog for announcements or new features like the fingerprint support via the new Fingbit app in 22.2 or security patches. Subscribing to their newsletter or reddits which is Linux Mint can help you update it too. There you have it the often misused features and configs in Linux Mint 22.2 that can make a huge difference for new users. Implementing even a few of these will make your experience more efficient and enjoyable. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux tips and drop a comment below. What's your favorite hidden feature in Linux Mint? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.